Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Catherine and this is Just Been Catherine. And in today's video, we are gonna be doing a transformation of our balcony. We have a Juilliard balcony, which is super tiny, 10 feet by two extremely tiny <laughs> and we've been wanting to do something to this balcony since we moved in here but we just had no ideas we didn't even think we were going to use it because we opted out for a big balcony but um, over time we realized like we want to be outside <laughs> since we're always cooped up inside of our home so i had a cool idea to just completely make over our balcony and just adding elements of things that we love making it cozy boho chill oasis I don't know if this is better because y'all can see the glare in my glasses. I don't. This might be a little bit better. It's a Juilliard balcony, very tiny, one or two, maybe three people can fit on the balcony, but there's not much maneuvering that can happen. So I wrecked my brain figuring out what way it will be able to transform this patio when it's that tiny. But I have came up with some cool ideas. I'm gonna take you all step by step of what I came up with, the trials that we faced and solutions that we came up with and I cannot wait to show you pretty awesome solutions. If you like what you see throughout this video, definitely give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. If you are excited to see this patio makeover in the process of this entire transformation, then keep on watching. So today is Saturday and my husband and I are on our way to Ikea this morning. It's currently 9 o'clock. They open at 10. The last time that we went there was a major line that like zigzag. So we're trying to get there as soon as they open. We have some items to return and I have my list right here. Two lists. There's quite a few items that we have to pick up. And the trick to this is hopefully it's all in stock. Literally said they had two in the store and we have not been in here for no more than 10 minutes. And like they sold out, which makes me really sad because this was the biggest piece of furniture we needed for the patio. So I'm just here with my husband. Nobody else is in the aisle, so I'm gonna take this off so y'all can hear me. Trip to Ikea was a epic fail. Really, really bad. So we're at Lowe's now. We're having to come up with another option. My idea is to just do some sort of like DIY for the table and make it easy enough that you guys can replicate it too if you have a super small balcony. If we cut it in half, then it'll be like that big. Okay. Door would be closer to like out here. Enough space for me to slide? Yep. Is enough space for me to slide? Probably. <laughs> While we were at Lowe's, I proceeded to pick up some artificial grass to cover the floor of our balcony. I found buying a roll of grass versus pre-cut squares for the measurements of our balcony was the most cost effective. For only 50 cents per square feet, we spent $11. Now we are looking into the type of leg designs for our table. And later on, you're gonna see that we decided on two long wooden legs instead of pre-cut individual legs because this was done on a whim. And this would give us total control on how low or high we wanted our table from the ground. So we got seat cushions for the seats off a cream color. They both were $5 each. I got the patio chairs from Ikea. They were both $20 each. And then I picked up two boxes of 15 globe lights for indoor and outdoor. Simple style plastic bulb. Only $5. I really like this. They're simple for the style that we're going for. I'm really going to add that ambience to the patio. These are from Five Below. Two string of these lights will be enough to wrap around our balcony. And then the most priciest item out of everything um, was this lantern. It is $40, but I got it on sale and then I used my red card on top of it. I actually picked this up months ago because I had a vision for our patio and I said this would be beautiful. The rattan design, large. I like that it has a handle to it, so if I wanted to hang it, I could. And once we add like all the lights to it, I can't wait to see how it's gonna all come together. And then the very last thing I purchased were these two beautiful fans. They're also wall decor. They were originally $7.99 each, but I got them 50% off at Hobby Lobby. Really, really excited about it. And even if I don't use these on the patio, I can definitely use these inside of our home because they're just so cute. 
That is all the accessories for the balcony. As I said, our balcony is so tiny. Less is better in this situation to avoid clutter. As you saw in the last clip, we got our tabletop pre-cut and my husband is using one side of the top as a test piece to drill a variety of holes in different depths. He's using a one inch speed bore bit and basically testing it to see how far he can drill before hitting the concrete or if he can drill into this type of wood before it splits. And so far we have no issues. So you'll want to sew your legs in half or if you already know your measurement, you can get them pre-cut at your local hardware store. After enough practice, we had three holes that was drilled into our table and all three legs fit perfectly. I thought it would be a sweet idea to commemorate this moment that we built our first piece of handmade furniture together by taking a Bible scripture that meant something to the both of us and writing it on the opposite side of the table. Now we have something that we can look back on and remember. it might be a little loud but as you saw in the video yesterday my husband did an amazing job at putting this table together i just have the legs inside of this test piece so when i stain them they can stand up straight but this is the actual piece that we are going to be connecting with the legs eventually i'm using the stain provincial 211 i used this multiple times before it's just a darker brown so i had a little system going on i would stain the table and while that was drying i would work on the legs and vice versa to achieve a close match to the patio chairs i did go a little heavy-handed on the stain but remember that it does dry darker so one or two coats should get the job done all my legs are finally dry i'm gonna go ahead and start gluing them into the base of our table i'll be using tight bond too it's a wood glue and i'm just gonna be putting them inside of the holes and then sticking the legs in there if you just think that this step is just too much for you then you can just go ahead and use the glue and attach it to the actual surface but we just wanted to make sure our eyes were a little bit more sturdy So I'm going to be turning this old alcohol glass jar into a vase. I love the design on the outside of it. I didn't want to throw it away. And the best way to get stickers off of it, which I found to be easy, is to use soap and water. But first you want to just soak the jar inside of hot water. The hotter it is, the better and less time that you have to wait. I'm using my dual sponge that has a rougher side and using that to scrape off the rest of the stickers. And then eventually I just take a wet towel with some soap on it to rub off the remaining residue. If you find that the stickers are still not coming off, let it soak for a little bit longer. But the more soap that you have, the easier it peels off. And we are going to be spray painting a beautiful pink peony. It's a nudish pink and it's so perfect, especially when it dries darker. Now that all the projects are done, we are just cleaning up the balcony and I'm sweeping it to make sure that it's clean before we begin adding our artificial grass, which I'm so excited about because this really is going to transform the balcony. But we got it a little bit bigger, that way we have enough to cut and maneuver as needed. It's no surprise if you have a small balcony, this is a problem that you run into. Our artificial grass is way too big for us to cut outdoors. So we're bringing it inside and cutting some pieces off and then bringing it outside again so that we can cut around the poles so that the grass can fit in place properly. It looks amazing. It already makes a big difference. Our balcony is not private whatsoever. I have gotten a balcony privacy screen and actually just came in the mail from Amazon. And I'm a mesh material. So this exact screen protect, I'm also gonna link it down below in the description box along with everything else that I can possibly link. This came with twine, but we opted and went for zip ties, which was so much easier. We just got them in a white color and I am just tying the top and the bottom of the screen protector. I wanted to show y'all in this clip just how convenient it is to have pre-cuts in our artificial grass because when it's time for us to clean it and we have to remove it and then replace it, we will already know where, how it's gonna get placed based off the cuts we made. This project took everything out of us. It's a small balcony and it's like 98 degrees out here, humid weather. But we got the turf down, we got the screen protector up, the light bulbs, and now we're just gonna be bringing out the furniture. But I think I'm gonna do that tomorrow because I am sweating. This is Scotch Guard that we're gonna be spraying on our patio furniture. It protects it from the rain and it helps it just dry quicker.
to y'all from my balcony. I completely forgot to make an outro to this video. I was so concerned about the storm. It's so foggy out here right now. Let me. Okay, is that better? Okay. <laughs> I was so concerned about the storm. Just trying to get everything prepared. But I've been spending the last two days out here all day, hours. I am so obsessed with this balcony. I don't know why we didn't do this makeover any sooner. This is probably by far one of my favorite ones. And I know I always say that, but it's something uh, so serene and peaceful about this area. And it's outdoors and it's cozy. We finally now have privacy. I'm just so happy. Our biggest concern is our safety. Check the link down below pertaining to Hurricane for more resources and how to help. And as always, I will talk to y'all later.